Have you ever just wanted to be a brute? Just slaughter and pillage a local village and conquer those who hold on to resources that you want so you can eat like a king? Have you ever wanted to just crush your enemies in the name of Krom? Then allow me to introduce to you the land of Hyboria, a place to brutally hack and slash any and all who stand in your way, all while wearing as little as a loincloth and carrying a big stick. Hello MMO Bombers, Wilfredo here with MMO Bomb to see if returning to this violent, carefree land is a place worth checking out in 2023. Allow me to be your guide through this magnificent land of bloodshed and dismemberment to see if there is a place for you here in Age of Conan Unchained. So before we jump into Age of Conan, let's talk Funcom for a second. Funcom is a Norwegian-based company that's been around for decades with their creative and unusual concepts of MMOs. The most recent outing is the upcoming Dune Awakening, an open-world survival MMO that sounds like Conan Exiles but on Arrakis. Other MMOs from Funcom are Secret World Legends, a Lovecraftian horror story-driven MMO, and Anarchy Online, the longest-running MMO in the Funcom wheelhouse. Age of Conan, in my honest opinion, is Funcom's most viable MMO out of the three options that they offer. Funcom isn't known for conventional game design or gameplay, but they are definitely a diehard company that continues to succeed in spite of, and many times, while stirring the pot in the MMO space. So with that out of the way, on to Age of Conan. Now let's get one thing straight. This is a mature rated game from 2008, and I can assure you if this is what passed for mature in 08, we're on the verge of war crimes for modern games. Graphically, this game isn't a complete potato, but it's definitely far from the modern mark. It holds its own, and I have seen far worse. Age of Conan has had a graphical update which was needed to clear up quite a bit of issues but the game is still buggy. As a free player, you can only play two characters, which is weird, but not surprising. There are four races and 12 classes, and the classes are race lock. Irritating. Yet it does keep within the lore of Conan and Hyboria as Sumerians aren't known for using magic as they find them both weak and scary. You can play as Aquilonians, Sumerians, Stygians, and Chitin, which are a paid race, to choose from as you're starting races. Classes range from conquerors, obviously, to rangers to necromancers. There's enough choice here to play to your style, which is great for an older game. The customization is bland on choice, as that's not really the focus of the game. Funcom loves a good story, so that's what you're probably gonna get here. Once you create your character, you are immediately tossed into the fray as you are a slave survivor that manages to reach a beach with your shackles still on and some old guy welcoming you and what will likely be your demise if you don't learn to defend yourself and break those shackles. On this lovely beach, you are given the opportunity to learn how to swing your stick on the scavengers on the beautiful sands of Tortage. Combat is the bread and butter of Age of Conan as it's simple yet complex as there are three basic attacks, left swing, overhead swing, and right swing. Every opponent has three markers that surround them as a shield, similar to For Honor or Mountain Blade. When these three markers are all together on one side, that side will take the least amount of damage. You want to take advantage of this and attack the opposite side to do optimal damage. You can also increase your damage output with the combo system that can lead to finishing moves a la Mortal Kombat or Fallout with the Bloody Mess perk. The combat is good, but it lacks impact. I feel like you swing through your opponent regardless if they're defending to one side or not. This can kind of kill the flow as combat feels detracted from the violent hellscape that is Hyboria. Overall, this is a far more engaging combat system than most MMOs from its time, and I would have rather had this combat system in Swill Tour than what was given. Once you reach level 10, you can begin to spec your character like many other MMOs, but each spec has a focus on one of your class's attributes. This feels like your decisions hold weight in making them because you don't want to have to respect your character as money isn't a big focus in Age of Conan, so be mindful of your spending. Also, there's a kill counter which is more for like self-adulation and achievement heavy focus, but it should have added buffs to each kill, sending your character into a blood rage so that they can conquer Hyboria. I thought that was the whole thing of the game. Age of Conan is a strange bird because it's got a lot of great ideas bundled up, but just in a really awkward package. 
Age of Conan is actually heavily instanced and splits the game up into multiplayer and single player sections by having a day night cycle that separates the modes. During the day, you're playing in the multiplayer zone where you'll see some players still running around and doing things. The environments are lush and colorful and full of easily aggroed mobs. I have this nasty tendency to get overrun by mobs when I aggro one mob by accident. I can assure you there's going to be plenty of XP to gather just by walking in the world. Nighttime is the single player zone, where you are given a much more deeper cut into the story and plot. There are also more story mechanics like sneaking around town to eavesdrop on an enemy, meeting contacts in need, or from time to time parkour your way to your objective in the most awkward and unfortunate means. The story is campy, much like the movies and comics, but absolutely fits the setting. The voice acting isn't bad for a game from 2008, but it could use some freshening up. And I'll make it disappear. <laughs> ah, she's perceptive for an old crone. I am a mage of the fourth rank, a master of the most arcane secrets and forbidden lore. Now, what does one such as you wish with Kramaleko? My time is precious. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, Age of Conan is working with a base that anyone can jump into with ease and be pleasantly surprised by something strange yet familiar. There are many features that I look forward to in many of the games that I play. I look forward to interesting boss mechanics or compelling story beats. Maybe there's something special within the combat or customization or the overall game has a unique feature. Unfortunately, Age of Conan doesn't really have that. Now, this isn't inherently a bad thing, but it isn't something you want lacking in an MMO. Sure, it has every trope any other MMO has, but this really isn't a selling point for new or lapsed players to want to come and play this game. This is the one flaw I've noticed about Funcom. The developer has a tendency to not bait their hooks. After an extremely long lapse in Age of Conan, I noticed that the early game is interesting enough to get you to play the game. But once you get to about level 15, Age of Conan starts to get samey. It's a pacing issue. This happens a lot in older MMOs, but the only thing that keeps you even relatively interested is the combat, and that fades fast. Sure, there are guilds and dungeons and raids, but crafting unlocks at level 40. Why is crafting unlocked at the halfway mark of your leveling experience? I'd like to start crafting at around like level 10 or so, but 40? Like, I get it. Alright, I know Age of Conan is supposed to be brutal, but 40 levels in before I can craft a stick? seems wrong. Six-player dungeons, 24-player raids, and a PvP-dedicated server are all well and good, but where's the hook? Where's the thing that's going to keep me coming back every once in a while to get my fix? It's not here. In regards to brutality, I can always play games that lack visceral bloodshed for far more engaging combat, like Black Desert Online or Warframe. If I want some of the best endgame content, Final Fantasy XIV or Elder Scrolls Online. There was so much opportunity for Age of Conan to create something in this vast space and just didn't. I can see why the original game director, Gauta Gottiger, left Funcom only a few months after the launch, whether it was by choice or by other means, stating, quote, I've done my very best making this fabulous game, but I have concluded that there are elements which I am dissatisfied with. I have decided to act on this, and as a result, I have chosen to leave Funcom. Says a lot about the state of the game after launch, but it also shows that while additions did come down the line later, it may have been too little too late. Well, the cash shop is small, which is nice, but if you're going to offer a cash shop this small, it's got to be something worth buying, and to be honest, this stuff is fairly pay to expedite, but not pay to win. If you don't mind grinding out most of the game, you'll likely never want to spend a single cent in the cash shop. The subscription, on the other hand, grants you access to what makes business sense with, you know, like token boost, XP boost, teleportation coins, which was a thing, and loyalty rewards to entice you into subbing. Is it worth it? Well, kinda, maybe? There are some extra factions behind the sub wall, so to some of the player base, this might be a selling point. But. I don't think you'll want a sub if it's something that is essentially inconsequential. Well, it's time to see if Age of Conan gets a stay of execution. Does it? No. And I'm taking a limb or two just for the trouble. 
I feel like Age of Conan is very much like EverQuest 2, with a bit of a flip. There's a lot to learn from this game, but it's more like a lesson in learning from your past mistakes, as this game really feels incomplete. Age of Conan has taken a lore-heavy universe and tried to bring it into the MMO space, but just hit too many snags along the way. The combat is there, but it needs improvement. The story is bounceable, but the game lacks depth to carry it. The brutality is missing in this, quote, brutal world, and the idea that the original game director basically gave up on his project just because it wasn't what he wanted out of his vision is a sign that I think most people ignored for the sake of the game. I would definitely suggest, though, that you play Age of Conan for yourself, as there are so many good things within the game, but it's just not a game domain in 2023. Maybe if you want to explore a new idea or try something a bit different to kill time before your next game's big DLC drops, or Diablo 4 comes out, it's an okay time sink. There are plenty of better games, however. Just many of them don't have the mature content warning. But what do you think? Do you think we should spare Age of Conan in 2023? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to go over to MMOBomb.com to check out all the latest news, updates, giveaways, and podcasts in the realm of the multiplayer. As always, stay safe, stay sick, and I'll see you guys on the other side.